hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 7 factorial we solve this problem for the values of c i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, here first you see that uh, this 6 factorial is divided by here when we move in it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 7 factorial and it will be written as c factorial is equals to uh, 7 factorial is multiplied by 6 factorial so you very well know about that how to expand factorial sign so it means that we can just uh, decrease by one of each of these terms and we uh, we just uh, uh, decreasing uh, at the last it by one okay so uh, when uh, we uh, expand this factorial it will be written as 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and it is multiplied by 6 factorial and 6 factorial is equals to 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So this is the our 6 factorial. And uh, now uh, here we need to uh, rearrange the terms. Uh, and now you see that uh, when we uh, multiply uh, this 4 by 2 it will be uh, written as uh, this is 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 is multiplied by here first we write this is 4 times of 2 becomes here 8 and now here in the next step when we multiply 4 times of 2 becomes here 8 and we break this 6 as 3 multiplied by 2 becomes 6 and we get the remaining two values are 5 and 3 so we write these two values here and in the next step uh, we uh, we move this 8 in the front of this term and after that uh, we multiply this 3 with this 3 and you get 3 times of 3 becomes this 9 and 2 times of 5 becomes this 10 and now here further in the next step we again uh, rearrange the terms uh, and you see here we have here first we write our 10 multiplied by this 9 multiplied by this 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 okay so after uh, rearranging the terms we get here our uh, simplified form is in this form and when we combine all of these values or all of these terms then uh, we just say that this will becomes here 10 factorial okay this is 10 factorial and in the left hand side we get uh, or we uh, just write here our c factorial uh, and because uh, we solve this problem for the values of c uh, so here you see that this c factorial equals 10 factorial this factorial sign is cancelled out by each other and we get here the value of c is equals to 10 so this is the final value of uh, uh, this question or final solution uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify this value of c and we check that is this satisfied our uh, given question statement or not so for verification of this value of c we first copy down given question statement here it is c factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 7 factorial and here we substitute uh, c is equals to 10 and when we substitute c is equals to 10 the left hand side is written as in this form uh, so when you put it here it will becomes 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 7 factorial and here we check that is both of the sides are equal or not so for this we need uh, to focus on 10 factorial and we break this 10 factorial as this is 
टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स and here we just stop this uh, breaking of factorial and we can just say that this is the 6 factorial because when we break this 6 factorial you also get here 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and it is divided by this 6 factorial and in this is equals to 7 factorial and here you see that this 6 factorial is cancelled out by this 6 factorial so here in the next step we need more simplifications and here we get this is 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 is equals to here we expand this 7 factorial and it is equals to 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 so now you see here this 7 is cancelled out by this 7 and uh, when we multiply this is 4 times of 2 uh, it will becomes here 8 so uh, here we have this is 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 and here we will get this is 6 times of 5 becomes 30 and uh, this is 4 times of 2 becomes here 8 so here we have little mistake this will become here 4 3 and 2 okay so you have a 6 5 is a 30 and 4 2 is a 8 so this will be right here 3 and now you see here this 8 and this 8 are cancelled out by each other and we get here 10 times of 9 becomes 90 is equals to 30 times of 3 is also equals to 90. So this shows that the value of C is equals to 10 is satisfied over this given question statement and this is the our final answer of this question and I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.